few days ago, Anthropic made a pretty major shift. And honestly, in the short term, it does hurt us as users. But long term wise, it forces competition to step up and ship better and faster products. But essentially what happened was, on January 9th, Anthropic enforced stricter technical safeguards while updating their TOS, which effectively is blocking third-party tools like OpenCode from using Claude Pro and Mac subscription credentials through OAuth spoofing. This is to access models like Claude 4 Opus and Sonnet at subsidized flat rates. Now, for a while, a lot of developers were routing their unlimited-ish $200 per month Claude subscriptions through OpenCode. Because it is an open source CLI that provides a better TUI UX, multi model support, and stronger privacy guarantees. But from Anthropic's perspective, this was unauthorized client spoofing, abuse of consumer plans that are intended for official cloud code usage, and a direct threat to their business model. The result broken logins, errors, and in some cases, temporary account restrictions. And honestly, I totally understand where Anthropic is coming from because it's clearly bleeding money without safeguards in place. They also are clearly wanting everyone to know that Claude should be used inside their own ecosystem, especially if they're planning to launch their own IDE or deeper developer tooling, which should be coming out pretty soon. But what's interesting is that even OpenAI reacted to this, and almost immediately, they saw a couple of reports of OpenAI employees cozying up to open code publicly stating that they're 100% invested in supporting a flourishing ecosystem of Gentic coding tools. And this was a very smart move by them by letting developers use Codex inside open code with a Codex plan instead of locking everything down. Now, I know some people are still mad that they can't use Opus 4 4.5, their max description within cloud code, exactly how they want anymore. But there is a solution. It's not exactly the same as what we saw before but it is fully free. And this is with anti-gravity's free tier, which is being integrated within open code. Now, we all know that anti-gravity is free. They have a free tier, it's rate limited, but newsflash, everything is rate limited. Stop pretending otherwise, because all quotes are gonna be enforced at some layer anyway. But here's the workaround that I'm personally gonna be showcasing throughout today's video. We're gonna be using anti-gravity's subscription OAuth through open code, and this is where it's going to be allowing us to get access to Claude as well as other state of the art models. And once we hit the rate limit, it will switch over to the Gemini model. And since Gemini subscriptions is also integrated, we're going to be able to use that plan directly within open code as well. In essence, you're using anti gravity's free tier as well as Gemini CLI's OAuth directly within open code, and it's super simple to get started. And what's cool is that you have multi-account rotation where you can add multiple Google accounts and it will automatically rotate to one that is actually rate limited after the usage. But what you want to do is simply go ahead and open up your terminal, whatever terminal you have a coding agent. It could be cursor, it could be Claude code, whatever it may be. Open up whatever coding agent you want. And once it is opened up, I want you to copy this command, which I'll leave in the description below, as well as the repo. And you just want an LM to actually work on executing and adding this plugin, which adds the anti-gravity model definition to your agent. So in this case, we have this uh, open code session running. We can go ahead and paste in this command into it. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Another option is the manual setup where you add the plugin to your config file. This requires you to do a couple of different steps like authenticate with the auth login, adding the model. But you need to simply go ahead and add in this following config into your JSON file. And then you're going to need to authenticate it using the open code auth login and then add the models, the full list over here. And then you can use it with the following command. So you can see all the models are being added to our new open code JSON file. After you have pasted in this into any large language model agent, you can then open up a new terminal and you're going to be able to then open up open code. And now once you are to use the slash command models, you can then head over to the model provider and you can search up anti-gravity. And this is where it has now configured all of the different models that you can access within anti-gravity directly within open code. And what's nice is that 
if you add in multiple, like I mentioned, multiple authentication accounts, it is going to be able to rotate and use different accounts simultaneously whenever it's needed to basically bypass the rate limits. But now I can prompt it to do anything and I have Sisyphus actually running with it. So I'm going to be able to get better generations out of it. Now, here are a couple of other options you have. Now, say if you want to use an open AI plan directly within open code, you can actually do that. If you head over to the provider tab, you can switch it over to the open AI provider and you can actually provide a ChatGPT Pro or Plus plan so that you can use that plan directly within open code. That is one method. Another method you have is using Minimax's plan directly within open code and they actually showcase how you can do this, which I'll leave in the description below. This is another model that you can use. It is a bit cheaper. It's not the same quality as GPT or uh, as well as Opus, but you're still going to be able to get a lot out of it. And the generations are actually insane because they actually train their output based off of the outputs of other models like Gemini 3.0 as well as Opus. So you're practically getting decent generations with the Minimax model. And if Minimax is also not your thing, then you can use ZAI's GLM 4.7. And I believe they're working on the fifth GLM 5th model series, which should be coming out really soon. But you can also use their coding plan directly within open code as well. So you have a lot of options. Make sure you choose the one that's best fitted for you. I don't know if there's going to be a new plan that might be reinstated for Anthropic. Who knows? These are just a couple of options that I'm giving you. You have to decide what's best for you. I can't tell you which one you can use. These are just a couple of options that I would recommend uh, as an alternative to the Anthropic Max Plan being used within open code. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private Discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it, guys. I am personally thinking that this fix is going to be changed within a week. So I guess make the most out of it. I'm not too sure. I believe they're going to still find a way to block this auth from Google or some other method. But let me know what you guys think. I personally think that this move by Anthropic is justifiable for them to stop the bleeding of outflow of money and to keep odd products within their own ecosystem so it totally makes sense but it is definitely debatable let me know what you guys think and i personally think there's going to be more plans as well as helping this theme more competition to improve better plans i'll put it for users like us so let's see what actually winds down in the next coming weeks i'll leave all these links that i use in today's video in the description below but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day spread positivity make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel if you haven't already Join our newsletter, join our Discord, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spare positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.